Hello, my name is Rachel Torrey, and I am a counselor at a Better Today Recovery Services. In this module, we will be discussing how trauma and substance abuse influence and challenge one another in addiction. We should talk about the fight or flight response. So what is fight or flight response, and how does it relate to trauma? It is a physiological reaction which occurs in response to a perceived harmful event, attack, or threat to survival. Let me put this into perspective. You are walking home alone from work one day, and it is very late at night. You are already on edge about every sound you hear, and feelings of uncertainty or fear are plaguing your mind. You come across a dark alley. You know if you take this route, you will arrive home sooner, thus removing you from danger. But due to the hour of the day, you do not feel completely confident taking the alley to return home. You have two choices. One, you can choose to fight. You make the conscious decision to walk down that alley, regardless of your fear, and fight through the feelings you have about the scary possibilities of taking this route. This decision reminds your brain to remain hypervigilant and will help you stay alert for any possible outcome. Or, you can choose to flee. You realized putting yourself in jeopardy is not worth it and decide to spend the extra time taking the different way home to ensure you arrive unharmed. This decision eases your mind and comforts you, leaving you to confidently walk home on a safer path. These two options assess the harm you may face when making a decision to do one or the other. So how does the fight or flight response get corrupted when someone has gone through a traumatic experience? Many people who have endured trauma respond to difficult situations using their fight or flight response, which is triggered unnecessarily, possibly leading to the following scenarios. Some individuals can act out behaviorally, emotionally lash out, or physically fight their way out of situations. These behaviors sometimes appear unnecessary to others and often lead to further shaming and criticism. The individual may feel misunderstood, unheard, or otherwise ignored without realizing their fight method has been triggered. Many people have blacked out in their rage as they relive the traumatic experience as if they were going through it again. Sometimes the situation appears irrelevant from the initial traumatic experience, yet the person still utilizes the reaction they've used before. Another response might present as running away or hiding from the problem. The person might be intimidated or scared by the situation and has learned that by fleeing, they remain safe. The person may not realize that their flight method has been engaged and they leave situations unnecessarily, leaving them without support or validation. It's clear that experiencing has a big influence on the mind and body, forcing people to find strategies, healthy or unhealthy, of coping with the anxiety and stress associated with trauma. Unfortunately, when a person uses unhealthy methods too often, it increases their risk of turning to drugs or alcohol for the individual to cope. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, share, or subscribe below. If you or a loved one is struggling with substance abuse, reach out and contact us today. Stay tuned for more videos.